हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द व्हाई कूलिंग वाटर इज यूज्ड एज अ कूलेंट इन अ इंडस्ट्री व्हेन आई से कूलेंट इट मींस आई एम सेइंग कूलिंग मीडियम राइट यू विल सी इफ इफ यू वर्क इन अ पेट्रोकेमिकल इंडस्ट्री फर्टिलाइजर इंडस्ट्री रिफाइनरी और इन एनी केमिकल इंडस्ट्री प्रोसेस इंडस्ट्री the cooling water is used or widely used as a coolant or cooling medium in a heat exchanger or like in a cooling tower you can also see in a condenser you can see right and in in many other application like in pump seals also sometimes we use the cooling water right so what is the reason behind it that we are going to discuss in this video okay so let's start so i hope we know that see if i we have one heat exchanger let's suppose here i have one heat exchanger right from where the hot fluid is coming and in and out for example let's suppose this is my hot fluid hf in and this is my hot fluid out right and of course here the temperature will be high for example t1 now from here you are sending the cooling water and from here the cooling water is going out okay see uh, there are cell and tubes okay because it is a cell and tube heat exchanger so what is going on from one side your cooling water is going on or your cold fluid is going on and from another side the hot fluid is going on so what will happen after some time or at this point and at this point what will happen simply your hot fluid will give its heat to the cooling water and the cooling water will take the heat of the hot fluid and the cooling water will become warmer or hot okay and because of that the cooling water temperature will increase so that's why the tco will be greater than the tci right and here your hot fluid will lose its its temperature and here your hot fluid temperature will be down so simply you can say that t1 will be less than the t f o means this one right i hope you understood what i want to say so that is the purpose that is the one purpose that's why we use the cooling water in a process industry as a cooling medium or coolant but there are multiple reasons why the cooling water is used as a coolant okay and the one reason is your high specific heat the cooling water has a high specific heat what is the meaning of specific heat okay we have heard okay we have read about the heat capacity in our like 11th 12th as well as in the diploma degree in uz pz and phd okay what is the heat capacity so let's understand first of all about the heat capacity and then we will discuss about the this reason why the high heat capacity helps cooling water to use as a coolant okay so here we are with what is heat capacity so mainly the heat capacity means see here with one example we understand that what is the meaning of heat capacity here i have water okay and let's assume that the mass of this water is 1 gram right and what i want here the heating source is there okay heat source is there and what i want i want to increase its temperature from 27 to 27 degree celsius right it could be like 26 to 100 or 26 to 80 whatever but in our case we are just changing the temperature unit change okay we are just unit we are just doing the unit change in with respect to temperature okay so when we have the water of 1 gram and the delta t because it is the change of temperature t2 minus t1 is 1 degree celsius so how much amount of heat energy is required to raise the temperature of 1 degree celsius of the 1 gram of water is called the heat capacity okay so whatever amount of heat is required that time to raise the temperature from the 
26 to 27 degree Celsius of the one gram of water is called the heat capacity. Okay, it could be C. Okay, I hope you understood about the heat capacity. What is heat capacity? Heat capacity is the measure of the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of a given quantity of a substance. In our case, it is one gram. It could be more as well by a certain temperature interval. Okay, interval means simply delta T. In our case, it is one degree Celsius. It could be more as well, right? Okay, so whatever the energy is required in that case, it is called the heat capacity. Okay, now whenever in a heat capacity, there will be the specific earlier means the specific heat capacity. It means that it will be per unit mass. See, in our case, the heat uh, specific heat capacity. What will be the meaning of it? It will be the the meaning of it will be the heat capacity per unit mass of a material because to know it very very important because while you solve the calculation or sometimes in industry also we use the specific heat capacity i hope you understood my point right now if you see the uh, formula the formula is simply c that is your heat capacity heat capacity is denoted by the c and it is written like that c is equal to q by delta t right now you know what is the specific heat of the water so usually it is 4.18 joule per gram per degree celsius okay what is the meaning of it it means that if you want to raise the temperature of one degree celsius of one gram of water so you need 4.18 joule of energy right this is the meaning okay now let's see in the case of iron what is the heat capacity so uh, like approximately uh, with respect to iron it is 0 0.45 joule per gram degree celsius it means that if you if there is one gram of iron and you want to raise the temperature of degree celsius so it will require the 0 0.45 joule of energy right same if i talk about the air so the uh, the specific heat capacity of the air is approximately one joule per gram degree celsius means if you have one gram of uh, like air okay let's assume and you want to raise the temperature of one degree celsius so you need one joule of energy Okay, so from this definition, you can see like you can say one thing that the cooling water has a high heat capacity. Okay, now if it has a high heat capacity, so obviously like whenever it will absorb the, it will absorb the like high amount of heat, heat or large amount of heat to the, like before it's increase the temperature, right? I hope you are understanding what I am I saying. Okay. So that's why it is the reason that we are using cooling water as a coolant. Okay, now let's see in our slide what we have written. Okay, see here the water has a high heat capacity, meaning it can absorb a lot of amount of heat before its temperature rises significantly. So this makes it very effective at removing heat from the industrial process right i hope you understood the point and that point was very very important okay now the another reason is availability of, of course water is easily available right and it is cost effective because it is uh, the water is natural okay even after the treatment also the cooling medium or the cooling water is cost effective as compared to other coolant can you let me in the comments box what are the other coolants we use in a process industry then it is non-toxic so when because it is non-toxic so it is easy to handle and safe to handle right and there is the minimal risk if the like worker comes in the contact right until its temperature is not too high efficient heat transfer why the efficient heat transfer because the thermal conductivity is high so as the thermal conductivity of the water is high so it allows efficient heat transfer between the cooling water which is which 
like plays a role as a cooling medium and the surface which is cooling okay so that is the another reason okay now can you let me in the comments box what is the thermal conductivity of the water and why water has a higher excellent thermal conductivity what is the meaning of it have you ever read about the Fourier's law then it is a versatile right so that's why the cooling water system can be designed for various application means it can be designed for the like cooling towers you can see or the simple on through system okay the it it is used in a heat exchanger it is used in a surface condenser etc then these are the some properties these are the some regions because of that we use the cooling water as a cooling medium or coolant right so i hope you understood uh, in this video the reason behind the cooling water as a coolant right so if you have any doubt please let me in the comments box okay i will definitely clear your doubt as soon as possible so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning thank you